So in the last video, you saw my boy Bill actually picked up his YZ125 from the dirt bike shop. But unfortunately, that bad boy was not running. So he had to actually find a dirt bike mechanic that can actually get this bad boy back on the road. And luckily, he was able to do that on Facebook. So today, what we're going to be actually doing is linking up my boy Bill once again and going to check out the bike and seeing what's up with it. I believe it's running, so hopefully we might actually get the ride today. So with that being said, let's go ahead and link up with Bill and go check out the bike. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Man, what we got going on? We had to pick up the dirt, but well, we ain't gonna pick it up. We just gonna look at it. My boy got a track too at his house, so we might rip that. But he didn't fix it. My shit up and running. You know what I'm saying? Is the bike cranking up? Is it? My shit running. Man. Okay then. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> oh, oh. So wait, why you can't take it home yet? Oh, I can't take it home. I'm just saying it is raining. I ain't oh. in the truck. I ain't got no trailer. What's good, bro? Frank, Yo. Eddie, nice to meet you. I'm with one and only, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. I ain't gotta say too much, man. He gonna creep for himself. For man. sure, for sure. All right, so tell him what we got going on, man. You know, we're here to look at the review. New car rebuilt. Brand new fucking car. We ordered off eBay. That shit was 175 bucks. It took four days. It came. As soon as it came, he put it on there. Now we up and running. <laughs> So look, we basically had um, what went to Taco Sports and we, we had picked it up and it wasn't running. I'm pretty okay. sure the people from the YouTube wanted to know like, you know, what was wrong with it? How did you get it back running and stuff like that? Well, as far as the running, the reason why, I was run why it wasn't running was just car issue. Okay. Now, he gonna, he gonna see in a minute, it don't got YZ power. Oh, okay, okay. And that's, that's, you know, why I wanted him to come out here and see, you know, mm -hmm. Top end's probably gonna have to come out. All right, all right. But it has compression okay. at 165. Um, and carb, that's how it looked, which was actually the wrong carb. Right. That is, that's the old carb. Yeah. So this carb no good? What is it going on? I mean, it'll go on any, like a blaster. Oh. It'll go on like a blaster. And then what is it good car? Oh car. man, that looks brand new. Yeah. <laughs> totally different. I, I put it right there on the ultrasonic cleaner. All right. Man. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna lie, walking into that shit was really dope. I gotta build more indeed, man. But let's head up back over here to the bike. Let's see what we got going on. <laughs> This man ready to hit it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh man, that thing sounds like... I don't know it what sound, it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds... Bad and that, that was the... Uh, that was the reason I, I wanted him to come out here because I got it to run, right. but it don't run right. So I'm yeah, sure yeah, it's yeah. the power bouncer that's your phone. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sure the power bouncer either bent, broken, or stuck, or something. Dang, so, so you said, say it again, I'm sorry. I'm sure either power valves are stuck, bent, or broken. Dang, okay, so, okay. Because you can hear it, if he stays in it slowly, he can hear it, ding, 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 right, ding, right, ding, right. and then it slowly catches. So, yeah, I hear that. What is that? Could be your either power valves are broken or they missing stuck, but I felt them, so they either broken or something. But that's, that's what I'm telling you. Like that? It got, it got, well, because it's like stuttering when I'm trying to switch. He's like, uh, He's doing that before you miss it. <laughs> It don't even sound loud like it's supposed to. That thing supposed to be loud. Boy, I, I don't know what the f to expect. <laughs> mm -hmm. He was saying like if you ride it, but like get into it, then it 
they won't stutter as much, but yeah, yeah. something going on. Oh, I get it. I was trying to get that bit. Well, <laughs> so I don't guess it's, it's not ready yet, but it's better than before it was cranking. Yeah, it's cranking in, Ryan. So, hey, this a plus in my book. <laughs> So, I repair power sports. Um, if you got ATVs, dirt bikes, side by sides, anything, you can bring them down to me. Um, I'm in Haines City. I also do pickup and deliveries. Um, my number is 352-800-9956. And I'll hook you up. I'll get you right. I'll get you running. And uh, you be straight. Yeah, yeah. And what they call you, bro? Um, Eddie. Eddie, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Eddie. Absolutely. So as you guys see, Eddie is soon to have the YZ125 back in the road, and my boy Vel is soon to hop on his bad boy and be riding like never before. Like he said, he's just waiting on that power band to be able to kick in. But go ahead and turn on post notification so you can see when we finally hop on his bad boy and ride it like never before. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay lit. <laughs>